guys, we got three days until the biggest goddamn Smash event goes down. The hype train, this is the hottest I've ever felt this bitch. It's so freaking live right now. And the excitement is through the roof. Everyone's losing their mind over this whole thing. My phone's going off, man. That's how you know people are hype, man. But anyways, guys, of course, with me in these um, Final Destination videos, I have people who have a really big opinion on Smash, are big in the scene. And today, the person that's with me, he doesn't really need an introduction at all. You all know this man. Maybe you know him by his many different names. We got the Hoo-Ha Master. We got the Sinister Sheik. We got the first place fiend. We got the top dog. The MVP, my boy. My boy. My boy. We got zero in the goddamn building, man. What's going on, bro? How's it going, Eddie? Nice to see you as always, man. What an introduction. Yo, it's Hey, man, you know me. Everything's got to be over the top, dude. That's that's the way we do things over here, right? Right. <laughs> oh, man. But, dude, what are your thoughts on the announcement, man? Like, the whole... Like, first off, just starting off with Cloud, first off. Like, what were your impressions on him when he first got revealed, man? Mm, I mean, he definitely seems like... Here's the thing. Every trailer makes every character look really good because you only see them yeah. hitting people. You don't really see their options or their lag or anything. So it's that's really true. hard to judge... Uh, whether he's good or not, um, I can tell that he does have uh, the, <clears throat> the the mechanic with the bar that can, that mm. can potentially be really crazy good or maybe not oh, as good yeah. as we think. So that's like that's like a gamble. For example, when Little Mac came up in the trailer, everybody was like, "Oh, he looks broken." I mean, mm. now now look at where he is now. Um, yeah, I know. And then Rosalina's trailer was like really underwhelming, but she was like ridiculous, you know. So it's like you never really can know how characters are going to to turn to be. The, the good thing, though, is that um, he's coming up soon, uh, and, I mean, we'll be able to test. I mean, I'm pretty sure within the first week, I mean, people like me and Nara are going to, like, play the character a lot and be like, okay, we have a better opinion of it. But if he end up, ends up being really good, we'll know for sure from the beginning. And, like, when Ryu came out, everybody was like, okay, this character's pretty good. Like, I played him, like, played him, like, one day, and I was like, okay, this character's pretty good. <laughs> you knew just from one day, like, yeah. touching Ryu, that's yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, you can just tell by, like, their moves, their strength, their... It's just everything, just the way the character flows and everything. Yeah, and you know, considering how many characters you've had your hands on, man, like I guess at this point you kind of got this thing where you, you just know right away. So that's so with Cloud, it's kind of hard to tell, even though the footage is there. It's kind of hard to put a like a like a guess on where he would stand with the tears or. Mm, yeah, exactly. Um, really? Yeah, the way I mean, the way you can define a character on the tier list is based on their frame data. Like frame data is like how. Basically, all the moves are defined in frames, and a frame is 1 60 of a second. So, for example, if I say uh, Mario's up smash is 10 frames, random example, not true, um, yeah. then you can tell, oh, Mario's up smash comes out on, on 1 6 of a second, right? So you can kind of have like a, like an idea in your head, like how quick moves are in reality, and like in, mm -hmm. in real real people terms. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, frame data, how reliable you can get KOs, how reliable you can wreck up damage, their recovery. How they fare off in matchups. For example, maybe maybe Cloud uh, is really good against like all the mid tiers or, or high tiers, and then when he comes down to like the best characters, he struggles really much. So then he ends up being at a certain point. Uh, it all comes down to that. But I mean, if the character is obviously really good, really strong, and he will probably just beat almost anybody because you know characters like Sheik, Zero Suit, or, or Rio or Rosalina, they do good against everybody. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter who it is. They just they just do good. So. And I was struggling with the Sheik today too, man. Like, God, one option that I just struggle with so much is this. When, whenever they do, like, like basically off of shield, she just goes into a jab, like, instantly, man. I struggle with that. So, I mean, I, I hear what you say. I'm, I'm hoping that Cloud is viable in somewhat of a similar sense. Although, although probably not. He doesn't really like he'll be, like, a super fast character I from mean, what the trailer looks like. I mean, Cloud is, like, top five, I can see myself using him in tournament or something like that, so... Oh, snap. Here we go, man. You gonna ask somebody to replace the Shulk, man? Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. But, dude, so, of course, now, with the technical stuff already talked about, we need to talk about the hype, man. Like, so, what, what are your thoughts on the ballot? Who did you vote for, dude? I voted for Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Hey, my boy. Yeah, no, you know what? That's actually, I feel like that's actually extremely possible. Yeah. Because a lot of people are saying maybe two Square Enix reps won't happen, but considering Sora has Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out, big game. I, you think, know, I think it's very likely Sora will join because, one, he was mildly popular in the, <clears throat> in the ballet, and also the fact that Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out, 
and I think they put Cloud in the game because Final Fantasy VII Remake, and they yeah. they kind of wanted like a WTF character, like oh my God, Sunny character, like who would expect this, right? <laughs> oh and God, exactly. Like I, I would have never expected no. that. So now that they no. locate her up because if Nintendo can get a character from Sunny, uh, then it literally means that anybody in the world is literally applicable because anyway. now now we can get anybody. Like at this point, at this point we have Sonic and, and we have uh, we have Pac Man, we have Mega Man, we have Cloud. So it's like. Mm. Like from third party or other companies, you know, it's like anybody can just come and, Ki and Kingdom Hearts has been a game that's been on Nintendo consoles before. Uh, yeah, exactly. With, with the DS games and also the fact that it's a very popular character, very recognizable character, uh, family friendly too. He has a good image. It's not like Sora mm -hmm. is like, like a Silent Hill character that obviously they're not going to put in Smash Brothers. <laughs> uh, Sora has like magic and can jump, can do anything. So making a moveset out of him. That is not like a, it'd be so easy yeah like he fits perfectly like you can just make him like a magic swordsman that differs from robin maybe you can add some physical stuff he has so many things that he can do and he will look really cool and fit into the ridiculousness that is smash brothers universe and another interesting thing is the fact that because kingdom Hearts is coming out soon then it, it, it can just tie it to that the hype and everything it will just make sense like everything it just would. goes into place with him let's not forget street fighter 5 or ryu either yeah, exactly. So, like, I, I, I mean, I am, I am, I'm hoping, I'm pressing my fingers for Zora from Kingdom Hearts. I think that will be really cool. I'll be pretty hyped. I, I think so too, man. And you know, going into more of a casual side of things, like you know, there's obviously a lot of memorable characters from the series. They can make a lot of, you know, maybe they can add like um, some trophies to the game as well too from the series. Man, they they have so many ideas from Kingdom Hearts, and you're right, he fits perfectly, dude. This dude has so many moves. I mean, a lot of the games that you mentioned and the ones on the DS, I played a lot of those when I was younger too. Like, um, I really can't remember the name because, but they they were a while ago. But I mean, a lot of great spin-off titles on the DS, man. He, he definitely makes sense. Yeah, the more I think about it. Yeah, no, it's just it, he just makes sense, and <laughs> it's just it's just a matter of waiting yeah. now. Uh, yeah. Anything can happen, and and and, and with the Smash Trick, and it's the last one too. So we're gonna, we're gonna be hit with all the surprises. They're they're probably scheming like big 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 surprise that we're gonna freak out for like a while for because uh, it's yeah. the last one makes me wonder if this is the last time they'll patch the game competitively too as well um so obviously mm -hmm. you know depending on how certain characters get buffed or nerfed then the tier list will be you know i mean the game will be much more solid because you know um for the top players we don't really practice our characters as much as we usually do because we don't we never know if they're gonna get nerfed or not you know yeah, we're always, it's kind of scary. Yeah, we're always practicing like all the characters too as well. But you know, if this is the last patch or the confirmed last patch, then we can just go all in or all out with tricks and everything because, you know, we we don't. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's that's it. It doesn't matter anymore. So yeah. Yeah, and he made it clear that he didn't want a game that would be stretched out for super long periods of time with patches and updates and yeah. fixes here and there. So I mean. If this truly is the final version of Smash Bros, and we get one final patch, um, do you think that this patch could potentially be something as big as the last one with how shield mechanics were changed and other things like that? Dude, they, or is it, yeah, I know it's so unpredictable. Dude, they can that do anything. Like, the moment they added shield stun, made me realize they could just change the game mechanics like that. Maybe they'll add more shield stun. Maybe they'll do who 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 knows? They'll, they'll, they'll they can do literally anything. So. At this point, it's yeah. just a matter of just being prepared, just waiting. Good thing I've been practicing so many characters in this game that I'm not exactly only tied to one character only. Um, that's the good thing I've developed in my game. But obviously, patches are always scary. Good thing that one of my main characters has been nerfed so many times that I, I will expect not another one. <laughs> yeah, definitely, <laughs> yeah. man. I mean, that's one thing you're definitely notable for. It's um, being able to be so talented with multiple characters and then be able to change your approach, mix-ups. You know, the mix-up game with you, dude, it scares the hell out of me, man. <laughs> like, I don't even play competitive, dude. Like, I'm being so serious right now. But, um, well, let me see, because there were some other things I wanted to mention, too. Um, in terms of... Now, one thing, one thing some of you might not know, but my man Zero here, he's an otaku like me, man. Like, we're, 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 we're both about that lifestyle, dude. Now, I wanted to ask you, if there's, like, one anime character you know, even no matter how ridiculous or out of the way it was, one anime character that you can see in Smash Brothers, um, who would it be? Ooh, one anime character. I think. I mean, I think. I, I mean, I wanted to say a swordsman. Oh, okay, okay. You know what character will be really cool? I, I, I think, I think. So, did you watch yeah. Sword Art Online? I've heard a lot about it. I've seen a good amount of the episodes too, like um, two or three. Okay, so the, not in, too in, many. in one of the in the most current seasons, there's a character. That has uh, that's like that's like represents like death, and I don't want to spoil too much. But he uses a gun and a sword, 
and he's like really badass. And I don't know. Uh, I will like okay. I will like that character. I guess I guess I will be cool. Um, What's the character's name? Um, you know, I forget the name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I hear> you. <laughs> All right, just look up gun sword character anime, guys. You'll figure it oh, hold out. On, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> another character, another character. Oh, oh, a character that will be really cool will be either uh, Phoenix Wright or Professor Layton. Woo! Yeah, oh, that, this, yeah, this will be cool. Damn right. Yeah. Dude, if, if Phoenix Wright somehow gets in that bitch, man, you know I'm gonna die, bro. That's it, man. Oh, the character's <laughs> called Death Gun. Death, okay. okay. All right, so Death Gun from Sword Art Online and Phoenix Wright. Yep. Phoenix Wright, I definitely agree. Solid choice. Did you, did you play any of the Layton games? My girlfriend, she actually plays those endlessly. I haven't touched them, but she says they kind of have like a similar feel to Phoenix, right? Where you're like figuring out stuff and whatnot. So there's this one part where like, I don't know, like Layton manages to be, in my opinion, the most badass video game character I've ever seen ever. Really? Yeah, even, though, even though he's the man who's the teacher and solves puzzles for a living, he yeah. manages to be so badass with just logic. It's just incredibly what? exciting, actually. So it kind of does have that vibe of where, like, when you start figuring stuff out, like, when you, when you get down to the nitty-gritty of shit, like, you start to, like, feel hyped up, like, yeah. how are you doing, yeah. Phoenix, right? Yeah. And that's the case with yeah. Professor Layton yeah. and these yeah. puzzles. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, know this, I know this nigga is always like, oh, the joy of solving puzzles. <laughs> and it's like, I always think to myself, like, the could it really be? Puzzles. Yo, man. But, I mean, my, my girlfriend's addicted, so potentially I'll probably try it out. Everyone, there's been a lot of people that have been asking for Layton too, man. So honestly, I mean, you should probably just play his attorney for your YouTube channel, and just like beat the game, and then like, um, like just randomly record the hype moments, like when you're like, like on, at the very end of cases and stuff like that, and then with twists and everything, and then you just like do like reactions to all this stuff. I think people will enjoy that. It, it will. Be no, definitely. That's the part that sucks though. I already played the entire franchise of Ace Attorney, man. I already finished, so no, no, no first time reaction. But if the new games. Do come out to the United States. You know that one they have with Sherlock Holmes in it. Mm -hmm. um, it's like, like I hope that gets like localized. That, one, that, that game one's not amazing. getting localized. No, no, you're, you're, you can't be serious, though. It, you it, know, it you know for not, a fact. I, I, I read that they don't want to localize it because it has too many Japanese uh, references and they don't really get translated well, so it ruins okay. the game, kinda. That's fucking sucky. Damn, I'm, I'm a little bit pissed off now. Like, my girlfriend, she was super hyped about it, too. I know. I you just broke our hearts. Too, but I guess we're getting Ace Attorney 6. Or we learn in Japanese, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, in Ace Attorney 6, yeah. Oh, man. But, okay, so you, you got, got a pretty interesting perspective when it comes to uh, the kind of characters that you want in there. Personally, me, I mean, if it was anime, I would like to see Eren Yeager from Attack on Titan. But, you know, that's just a random idea. Um, now, in terms of the actual numbers, a lot of the fan polls that were done online, mine included, and just a lot of popularity stuff in general, it showcases these guys at the top. You got Shantae, we got Shovel Knight, and we got King K. Rule. Now, you being a super competitive player, um, just in terms of the characters themselves, what do you think about potentially getting one of those guys in Smash? I mean, King K. Rule is probably going to be one of those heavy characters that don't really end up, because I don't really see a heavy, slow character. Like fight and chic or zero or whatsoever, so I think in terms of competitive play, he will be pretty useless. Uh, he's a fan favorite, so it will be fun to play him casually. But in terms oh, of yeah. tournament, he wouldn't do too much. Uh, Shovel Knight, I mean, I guess maybe, <laughs> maybe uh, depending on how his moves it is. Shantae, yeah. I, I don't know. That's kind of random, but I can see uh, if you need, if you want a character that like can be strong, you want a character that's agile and strong at the same time. That's a character that can be like like a good idea like characters like Sheik you know like Sheik has always been good in Smash Brothers because you know you have a, a character that's agile and strong at the same time uh, Fox is good because agile and strong Pikachu edge agile and strong all the top tiers are fast and strong at the same time hell yeah if you only have one of the two you're not really that powerful so yeah uh, exactly. I, I guess a character like like I think Sora can be like fast and strong at the same time it makes so much sense for Sora to be in this thing, man. There's so many options he has. And, you know, think of the the, the palette changes that you could use for him, too. Um, they could represent the different series that he's going through in Kingdom Hearts. It's, it's just so many ways that they can make Sora work for this. So, I mean, I'm hoping, too, dude. You're, you're hype about the 15th, right? You're, I'm pretty hype. I mean, everybody is. There's, there's a lot of things that can come out. Maybe, like, things can be so random. Like, it can go any absolute way. It's 100% unpredictable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm glad even somebody like you can admit that. It's like, you know, we can't, we don't really know for a fact. We got to really, really wait 
until the day comes before we can decide yeah, people assume i control patches and i'm like in, in mdm talks with sakurai like people do that's what i be thinking sometimes man i'm like this dude zero he's playing in the game out man yeah, people, <laughs> this people dude knows assume i'm like in cahoots with everything and i know everything and i know all the characters are coming up people know all these things but dude i have zero contact with nintendo whatsoever they don't tell me anything. Uh -huh. and they yeah, actually okay, they, made sure. it, they make it to a point to not tell me anything out of all people too mm, because, yeah so i guess they yeah because that. yeah Oh man, this dude, before the Luigi nerf, this man said at one point, I'm going to use Luigi and get to top with tournaments just to make him get nerfed. <laughs> this man. But right, Zero, once again, dude, thank you for coming on, man. The 15th, um, it's going to be a big day, and I'm sure everyone here appreciates your presence, dude. Um, if you guys want to catch my boy Zero, you know where to go. The link in the description, find everything there. And, um, thanks once again, man. No problem, man. I love your videos, man. And no, same here, bro. <laughs> hope to see you again, mad hype, and have Sakurai retweeted again. Yo, man, that would be crazy. I gotta see you at an event soon, too, dude. Oh, Sakurai dude. follow follow all of us in, in like in like Twitter. I mean, he obviously knows who we are. It's like it's not like he doesn't know. Like, yeah, especially you, man. <laughs> like, holy when crap. I met Sakurai the first time, he, he didn't know me. But the second time I met him, he was like, "Oh, I meet you again, Gonzalo uh, Zero Sun or something like that." He said. What? Yeah, Yo! Yeah, something like that, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I was like, I was like, oh, hi, hi. I'll forget what I said. I, I, back in the day, when I went to Japan, I learned a lot about Japanese, and I remember, like, the typical, hey, how's he going, phrase and everything. So I said something like that. And then the first mm. thing he said through a translator was, like, don't ask me anything about game patching. Oh, my goodness. That's the first thing, really? <laughs> Holy shit. He knew. He was like, hey, man. I mean, I don't think you would have asked anything about it anyways, but I guess um, he wanted to make sure. I didn't sure. want to ask him who was going to nerf or who's going to buff. I didn't want to ask him anything. I wanted yeah. to ask him what was his uh, thought process for buffing or nerfing characters. That's it. Yeah, I, I remember you mentioned that in some videos, too. I wanted, I just one. wanted him to tell me, oh, for example, we nerf characters based on, or we buff characters based on maybe for glory statistics, right? And mm. plus uh, some of the factors that we can determine how the characters can be played in tournament or something. I'll be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But I don't know. Mm. I don't like the fact that it's so secretive. It makes me wonder like how it really is done. I mean, I mean, they're yeah. okay. To be honest with you, dude, they're just balancing the game. They're not like developing some secret weapon weapon for war. So I mean, it's not like <laughs> it's not like the world's gonna be ruined if they simply go out and make a statement. Yeah, this is how we balance the game or something like that. You know, it's not a big yeah. Deal. Some 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 patch notes, some some change logs, some something. Yeah, you know? something. But yeah, you know, you know, you know. Hey, that's our daddy, right? Daddy Sakurai, man. <laughs> that's it. Anyways, guys. Um, well, Zero, thank you once again, man. We, we definitely got to hook up at some point, dude. What's the next event you're going to be at? Uh, I'm going to Genesis 3. You should go to that. Uh, I may be going to some other tournaments down the line. Uh, there's a lot of maybes in 2016. Not yeah. sure where I'll be going. But, I mean, I'll probably definitely go to a lot of the big events. Uh, obviously, I'm going to CEO, EVO, SmashCon. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, yeah, all the, all the stuff. I mean, all the tournaments are obviously going to appear next year. <laughs> oh, hell. So we can expect to see you just as live next year yeah, as you were this yeah, year. Yeah, just, just the same thing. I mean, I'll go everywhere where Smash is, like, relevant. Um, there might be some, some other cool things in 2016 that we will have to go. But I think 2016 is shaping up to be even better than 2015 in terms of uh, Smash community growth. Hopefully, it's even better of a year for me because 2015 was, like, really over the top for me. Uh, so hopefully 2016 is just as good or even better, but we'll see. Definitely, dude. I think it will be, you know. The Smash is definitely looking up, especially with this final this final update, man. That's it, man. This is the crescendo. This is the biggest thing right here. Yeah. Exactly. All, all there is is hype. There's excitement. That's it. But all right, man. Thank you once again, Zero. No I problem. appreciate it, dude. Doing this last minute. Yo, man. I This dude, Zero, I hit him up so last minute. I was like, dude, wait, wait really quick, man. We got to do a video. And it was in he. Zero man, you're always cool to do videos with, man. You're always you're always willing to, you know, go out of your way, man. And I appreciate you doing that for your boy, you know. Hey, no Definitely. problem, man. If you ever need some other collabs, let me know, man. I'm always down. Yo, one day I'll be able to challenge you, bro. You better watch out. <laughs> my my Robin's coming for that ass, man. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know how you know how I'm gonna win. You know, she's cute as hell, right? So you you aren't gonna be able to attack me because she's so pretty, man. That's how I'm gonna win my match, all right, bro. <laughs> oh man, you can't attack the waifu, bro. <laughs> Shake my hand. All right. Shake my hand. Yeah. <laughs>